Bollywood also attracts aspiring stars from all over the world, and former Mr. India SA title holder Razin Dada has decided to realize his ambitions as an actor. He's thrown himself into preparing for Bollywood, and I met up with Razin for a career update. Razin was concentrating on a Hindi language lesson with his tutor Mala Prasad when Zaki arrived, but nothing could distract him from learning his numerals. Most guys would be happy enough just being Mr. India South Africa, but not Razin Dada, who has big plans on becoming a Bollywood actor. Namaste. 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 How are you? Good. 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 Zakia, you look very beautiful today. Thank you very much. You have taught him very well. Thank you. <laughs> what kind of student is he? No, he's a good student. Well, he's learned pretty fast. Uh, Within two months, uh, he knows his vowels, he knows his short vowels, he knows his consonants, and he can read also. So that's brilliant, I think. I hope I'm not interrupting your class. No, no, we almost finished with the class. Thanks. Namaste. Namaste. Really? Has it been difficult to learn a whole new alphabet with pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary? It's been slightly challenging because i give you an example. You have the vowel R. So you can write it either in short form or long form, but it makes it a little bit easier to spell the word if you use the shortened form of the vowel. So it sounds the same, but it's just spelled differently. Is it important to speak Hindi when going to Bollywood? I think it's very important because ultimately you're going to be given scripts in Hindi and either you need to translate it or you need to be able to speak it fluently. With technology today, you can actually dub a lot of your lines that you can't get perfectly, which helps a lot. But I think it's important to understand your Hindi. What can you talk about at this stage? I'm still on the basics. So yeah, we've completed all the vowels and the consonants and that sort of thing. So we're learning how to speak and, and speak fluently. And I think it's easier when you speak with somebody that speaks it fluently. And at home, you know, we're so used to learning English. So it's slightly, slightly tough. At what point did you decide to follow your dream to become a Bollywood actor? In 2013, I did an international shoot for the Asiana magazine. And then that gave me the exposure to come out and to see what the actual path is to become a Bollywood star. And now I'm going on that journey and I'm moving to Mumbai and Jan. How have you gone about researching what you need to become a Bollywood actor? A lot of research into the books. Some of my favorite actors and actresses, the ones that have really made it. I've analyzed their life stories, put a profile together, and then tailor made it to my own life. And in what other ways are you preparing? Well, dance is a very important element of learning to become a Bollywood dancer because you have to bring out your emotions through your dancing. I think that's a really key element. So I've been learning how to dance. And we're actually going to see a bit of that now. Do we get to dance together and fall in love around a tree? Yes, after we change first. <laughs> Let's go. Choreographer Paveshan Padea has been helping Razin to sharpen his dance skills. And they'd arranged to meet at a nearby temple complex to demonstrate the progress he'd made. Pavi, it's good to see you again. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> good, good, good. What is the importance of dance in Bollywood and Bollywood movies? I think it's really important. It really brings out the characters and the emotions to tell the story. Okay, so now I have to know, is he any good? Well, I think we're gonna have to show you. Yeah, we believe you're a dancer, hey? But I we'd like to see what you like on the dance floor. We've been working on a new sequence, and we'd like to get you involved. I hope you're ready. Super, where do we begin? We're gonna start with your right leg, and you're gonna go over, back, side, forward, and now with clicks. Okay. And one, two, three, four. Step to the side, step together, step. Together. Five, six, seven, <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and slide together, push together, circle down, circle back. Anything else? Well, there's a little bit more, but we'll show you with music. Well, let's put on the music then. You look like a natural. Are you a natural? To be honest, I'm not a natural. I think uh, Bollywood style of dancing is a skill that needs to be learned. Like, you can't just wake up one day and be the best dancer in the world. But uh, it's something that you can really learn, and I'm having such a good time learning it. Fabio, we're ready to hit it. I love this song. Ready? Five, six, seven, and. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> 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 Woo! Next time you guys should do that topless. 
definitely in the next <laughs> time. <laughs> so you're learning to speak Hindi and to do Bollywood dance. Yes. What other skills do you need to acquire? The main skill that you actually need to acquire is the skill of acting. So that involves learning various techniques, watching your Bollywood movies, analyzing the best actors in the world because uh, that's very important. Everyone has a good skill and technique and you're learning all the time. Let's go chat more about your future plans. Let's go. I'll show you my whole collection. Oh, great. Bye, Pavi. Bye, Bye Pavi. Razin has approached his acting career with the same focused intensity and meticulous preparation that he's shown in the financial sector. He spends hours studying films and books, analyzing every detail to develop a complete understanding of screen performance. Look at all these books and DVDs. What made you choose the Kishore Namath Acting School? Kishore has trained some of the best Bollywood stars in the entire industry. If you look at the names that have come out of his school, and you look at the film and the silver screen, you'll see that 70 to 90% of the stars have come here. To drop a few names, we can name Ritik Roshan, your John Abraham, your Saif Ali Khan, Priyanka Chopra, she's been through his school, as well as Ranbir Singh. Based in Mumbai, Kishore was an accomplished film, television and radio performer before becoming a teacher. He places emphasis on the need for aspiring actors to learn how to portray an authentic character rather than trying to mould their personality and talents to some preconceived notion of what the industry expects. While Kishore is selective about the students he takes on, Razin has already visited the school and been accepted for the 2017 group. What about all the romantic segments? Are you going to develop your own style like Shah Rukh Khan? Of course, I'm a romantic at heart. I love romance. I believe <laughs> and I love falling in love. It's really an amazing feeling and I'd love to show Show that on camera, definitely. Actually, once I complete film school, in my upcoming movie, The Business of Love, I'm playing a romantic lead uh, with a bit of intense, fierce family rivalry, which will be very exciting to see. You have a movie? I do indeed. It's being produced in combination with the local producer. So we're shooting in Durban, Mumbai, and in London. So I'm so excited. I think it's going to be out of this world. And it's, it's a really a first for South African producers as well. And what kind of roles do you want to play? I would love to play charming, romantic leads, charismatic, inspirational roles, and also uh, maybe a villain in a few movies here and there. You know, it's always exciting being the evil, mysterious fellow. Based on your experience, what advice do you have for aspiring actors? It's nice to have dreams, but you have to be prepared to put in the hard work, the effort, you know, do your research, do your homework. With the amount of time, you will become the best. Go for it.